Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and today I'm going to show you how to hide images and other things into sound itself. And um, last week I asked people to solve this riddle. Now as far as I'm recording this directly after I released that out, so I don't know if anyone successfully cracked that or not so it's supposed to be a fairly easy thing to crack if you know what you're doing but as far as things because that, that was more of a test by the way to see if people are, might be interested into a given game maybe the uh you will get like five bucks if you win or whatever um but this does take some time so i just needed to know if it'd be worthwhile but like i said um i don't know if anyone successfully did or not because i pre-recorded this and perhaps whenever this video comes out, so I'll decide one way or another on that. So with that one in mind, uh, let's jump on in. You're going to need a few different programs. You're going to need a Sonic uh, Visualizer. And you can get this one for free. You're going to need a few other programs. I'll leave a link down below to them. So feel free to check out them. But the biggest thing you're going to need is a image that you can hide into the sound file. This is actually fairly important because the fact of the matter is, is the image cannot be that detailed. So for example, you can't like throw a Mona Lisa in there and inspect a mass amount of detail that comes out of it. In fact, even something like this, something that's very, very basic to colors, just some words, it is very difficult to push this across. You can do single sentences and stuff like that with very little problem. But when you get into something like this, it, it you get a little bit of a problem. So it's a big thing to know. And I highly re recommend whatever you push out, try to do black and white and have the background as black. And the reason for that is the white, it will generate sound at that moment, but the black, it'll stay, uh, you know, empty. So w what would end up happening is if you're trying to hide this, embed this into some other sound, you can actually embed the secret message into a sound bit, embed that into something like music or a TV show or something like that. And um, the less sound you have, so if this was like a pure white background, if they'll have an increased chance of someone catching that. So if you got a pure black background with the important parts being white, well, the chance of someone catching on to what's going on will drop dramatically. So it's very important to note that. But once you got your image up and running, and I'll suggest that you keep the image up, that way you can modify it as need be, because trust me, you're probably going to. Once you have that, you need to open the following program. Again, I'll leave a link down below to that. So I'm not going to try to pronounce that, so sorry about that. Go ahead and open the image that you just made. And what you want to do is go to sound and then render. And I, I'll suggest render without blue, but you can go through here and render each one of these and test them out and, and go through it and see which one works best for you. You can also do, you, you can draw and whatever on here, which is fine. But as far as this, if we want to just send out a simple message, well, what we can do is just render without blue. So if I go and play it again, you'll notice that between the T and the left side, it doesn't make any sound. So that's a big thing to note. Um, that, that's what I was talking about earlier, that if the, all this is white, it'll be going nuts and all the other stuff. So once you have that rendered, what you need to do is save sound as and save that to a given location of your choice. And then you need to open up Sonic Visualizer. With Sonic Visualizer, just open up the sound file. And as you're working on this, if you need to replace the um, audio file because it's not right as far as it's not showing the correct image or it's not showing enough of the correct image, you need to replace main audio and what that will do is that will actually um instead of you having to open up a new thing each time you can just do that and it'll replace that so from here um obviously this is the sound so if we play it again so 
So it sounds like a dial-up modem in some case. Um, obviously, we can't get much from that visually-wise, and we're trying to get into a, um, a image. So what we're trying to do is the spectra, and then click that. And big thing to note is if we zoom in, you can see here is the stuff. Now, if you use black and white, as I mentioned, you can use white on black and then black and white and see which one works best for you. So note that and also note your other settings, the linear and whatnot. And this will actually help you out quite a bit. So note that. Uh, but big thing to note is that I'm going to do black and white. I think that one's a little bit easier for me to see. But if you notice that if we zoom in a little bit just to get enough, once you get down to this area, so let, let me bring up the image and note how different it is as far as you're able to see the want to play a game fairly easily. That's, that's pretty easy to see. And then you can like that it might be honor it might be something so you know i mean you have to kind of figure out what it what things are saying with um with context around it so note that but it's like the will we can barely understand it but still you can you can see enough here to figure out what's going on so if you want to send a very specific message like say for example uh we're meeting under a bridge or um i don't know some time or maybe a very very basic map or a very very basic image then you can easily do this with something like this now it's important to note let's uh, throw a normal image into here so i can show you what that will look like something with a little bit of detail into it so again, turning something like this into that, it creates the <laughs> And because it's so detailed, the problem is, is this is the end result. So, you know, I mean, we can play around with this, but fact of the matter is, is this is the end result of it, um, it it's unusable whereas the um, first thing the the actual first just a simple message you're able to get that fairly easily through that obviously you know you have to figure out what what something means with the context around it in some cases but for the most part you're able to get that fairly easily where the other it's just you know it's a mess no one can that there's no way to figure out what is that image so that's fairly important to note um, now where would this be useful at some musicians have done similar things like this in their albums just for their fans and whatever it may be uh, but there is some things like in military and a few other places where you might see this you can easily sneak this stuff if you want to actually embed the audio um, the this If you want to embed that into the um, music or a TV show or something like that, some type of broadcast, then what happens is you can you can easily embed it and no one will, really will be able to hear it uh, that well. Um, but as far as computers goes, they're looking for that type of thing. So if they know, okay, at this time to this time, listen for whatever sound, then um, it will be able to process that and make whatever images that you want. It's also important to note that the um, when, you're, when you're using that type of method, this gets a lot worse quickly. So um, using that, you got to embed it just right. It takes a lot of finesse into it. So you just can't slap it together and hope things will work out. It, it, this actually does take some time. And it does take some understanding on how to create something like this. But to read it, 
if you know, okay, this is a snippet that you need to be listened to or something like that, anyone can easily do it as you saw here. So this is a big thing to note into itself. But as far as that goes, if you got any questions, anything else, then let me know in the comment section. I'll try to answer as quickly as possible. And I hope you have a great day.